All right, all right, there we go. Do, 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 do. Finally happening, totally, totally working. Oh, no. Come in here, close this thing. All right, we're live. It happened, we went live. <laughs> Did make some coffee, you may have missed off. Hey, g goody, goody. Goody fast, I got my geocaching mug, which is pretty cool. Hey. All right, so cool. I redid the screen last night. Um, it's a little bit better, I think, uh, with the chat and the streams and the, the, the goals and things over here. Yeah, we got we got a whole new shipment of shirts in. Actually, they were just like shipments that were sitting around, so I took them. There's I have five five or six boxes of shirts. They're gonna be soon spread across the globe, I'm sure. I don't I don't fit into my smalls anymore. It's just a medium, so it's like a little bit big, but it looks okay. I think it's it's all right. It'll it'll shrink. It's it's brand new, like literally unwrapped in iron this morning. So, thanks, Pine. I appreciate that. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm gonna work on some something a little bit different today. Uh, I decided that I wanted to try out some. Uh, oh, I have this problem, which it's not really a problem, but what um, is my keyboard not? Over here? That's not good if it doesn't. I need new batteries. I shake the keyboard, does that work? Oh, come on. Sometimes I could just be bang on the key. And that's why I need a I need to get a, a keyboard that actually plugs in. What is the status of this board going on here? Do I need new batteries in this sucker? What's going on here? What does this take? Triple A's. All right, we're, we're gonna switch some batteries live. Uh. Ah. So what I was working on was uh, whenever I start a stream, I always need to open up this application called Snaz, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it helps me do like countdown timers and things like that. But I always run into an issue, which is that it's like yet another thing. And I really just want like my stream deck to kind of just do it, I would say. Is this keyboard gonna work? What's going on here? What's going on here? How do I turn it on? What's going on here? What is happening? Where can you purchase this shirt? Uh, I don't think you can buy them uh, at all. We do have a .NET Foundation shop. We're gonna be adding some Xamarin stuff on there, but uh, we're gonna be working with some user groups to be able to hand out some swag and do some stuff like that. So that's pretty exciting. So I'm working on that. All right, designer Bluetooth keyboard. It says it's at 50%. Um, I'll remove it. Just not working. Let's see. Come on, Surface. So I wanted to create a new application that would allow me to take in, uh, basically take in um, a .NET Core three application that can run on Windows. But I also want to port it to Mac and build like a Xamarin application over there with it. And then what I would do is via pass command line arguments to it via the stream deck, if that's possible. That's kind of my goal. Oh, this thing is not working. Oh, add a new Bluetooth device. There we go. How do I how do I use Windows? That's my, how do I use this thing that I'm in every single day? Oh, eight, nine, six, six, two, nine. Does that work? Eight, five. Enter. There we go. All right, my device is ready to go. I break the oh there we go all right now we're working again new batteries Jeez, that took forever so that was kind of my goal for today is i just installed the visual studio 2019 preview and .NET core 3 preview 3 and i want to do that because i want it to be very much like just a simple application use a .NET standard library to do that um let me see i can i can show you the app that i've been using it's called snaz which is pretty rad. Uh, it's a pretty cool app, but it kind of does like too much almost. It has like count ups and countdowns and frames and does all these things and all this stuff. And it can connect to Spotify, connect to do all these 
you know, cool things, which is really, really nice, to be honest with you. It's a great app. But my problem is that it, and it's even written in C sharp, so which is kind of, kind of, kind of cool. But the problem is it just does too much. So what I really want to do is I want it so on my stream deck, on this thing, on this thing, right? I press a button for my go live, and it's like five minute countdown. I press it again, it just refreshes it. I had thought about some infrastructure for it, so I'm like maybe I'll do a Blazor app, right? Because then it'll just anyone can just run that anywhere. The problem there is then you have a website that you got to run locally, which is okay, but not great. And then the other issue is that you want to stylize your text and you want to customize the font maybe. So what Snaz does, now what I want to do is just write it out to a file. Basically, here's one file. It's all you get. It's the count up or count down file and just go. And it's going to be very minimal. And the entire idea is that the UI will be like nothing. So um, what we want to do here is, is do make der um, stream counter, stream countdown, count, stream timer. There you go. That's what I'm going to call it. Streamer, streamer timer. My stream timer. <laughs> I put my in front of it. My stream timer. Boom. My stream timer. Boom. Uh, dur. Uh, all right, there's nothing in there, and we are on .NET version 3.NET .NET new uh, WPF. We're going to do a WPF app because that's what people do. We'll run any, anywhere then. .NET new WPF. Oop. All right. Now let's see what this puppy gives us here. And right, we can do code dot. All right. That. And. Yes, yeah, so we got some. Got some XAML. We have a main window, which is cool. It does some stuff. And. That's good. Let's go ahead and just open it in 2019. Open with 2019 preview. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our app logic into a .NET standard library. And then maybe next week we'll create a Mac application. And probably I could use like Xamarin Forms Mac for that. Probably that's probably what I'll end up doing. But uh, ba -ba -ba -da. be here. So. I want to update my license. Let's see if this just runs and see what happens here. Because I want to make it so easy that it's literally just a file. I don't need to worry about the installer. I don't need to worry about anything. It's like, just do it. Just do it. And where's my dub PF? Nothing is impossible. Uh, hello, .NET Core. Cool. So this is running on .NET Core, which can run anywhere. But of course, it's WPF, so it'll run on Windows. But what we want to design is something very, very simple. So it's 180, this puppy. Literally, all I want it to do is... Um... I mostly care about passing in command line arguments into it. I'm not sure exactly how to do that. Pass command line arguments to WPF. Put it up. Uh huh. Application resources. Wow, what is going on here? Uh, uh, okay, I don't know what's happening. All right, so application startup. Oh, in our application class, we can have a startup that takes in some startup args. That's the command line stuff. Cool. Like that. Cool, cool, cool. So what we're going to do is we want to 
come in and we want to do what in here we're going to create a new project and this will be project type uh, standard just type standard in there done it be sharp done it standard library boop and this will be um, should be inside of here. Oh, man! Again, sorry. Hold on. Save that. Save it. Save it on the desktop, even though it's not really what I wanted. All right. So I want. Should have created another subfolder in here. So new folder. This will be rename.wpf. Again, It'll be my dream timer. And what we're going to do is we're going to put all this junk in here. Perfect. Then we're going to now open this up in 2019 again. Let's see if I broke my. Oh, I should have definitely broken my. Uh, my. Uh, path try that again uh, dot the pf and this should probably be a pf and let's close that again yep i get it i get it i broke it i get it sorry And let's go ahead and save this. Boop. And let's reload this. Boop. All right. So that should be there. Let's go ahead and uh, let's also make sure that we dot pf dot, dot pf. And why don't we change this to dot pf here, just so we know that it's dot pf. Yeah. Because all new files will be associated with that anyways. Mm, a PF. Namespace is a PF. PF. I have a namespace in here too. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. All right, cool. Let's see if that still compiles. Da -da -da -da. It does. All right, so we're going to add a new project. And all of our logic is going to be in here. Uh, standard. Done it. Standard library. And we're going to call this my stream timer dot shared. It's going to be like one file that's probably shared, but let us uh, just in case. Add a new folder. I'll we'll call it view models. View model. And we'll say a new model class. Leave this. All right. So what we really want to do is tap on this, and what we want to do is ooh. I just do that thing where I do this thing, and it just does the thing. Please hold. I can't do that thing in this thing. It must be only be a not .NET Core thing yet for the editing continue. Do I have to enable editing? Maybe that's what I need to do. Enable editing continue. I don't think I can do it yet in WPF apps. That's kind of a shame if so. Hmm. Let's add a dependency. Aired. Well, it's going to be very simple. So all I want to do inside of here is probably put in some like, I don't know, 
switch toggle toggle button pitch count up oh. maybe like a radio group button Try something here. Kind of curious. I don't think the tool the tooling really isn't super done yet in 2019, so I'm kind of curious about doing this. Where is my Windows? Let's do that. And then do in. Hey friends. Hey friends, everyone's quiet. Everyone's quiet today. They're like, what are you doing, James? What are you doing? Hmm. Rules. Pivot and All right. Try this out. I didn't think it was it was done yet, so that makes sense. Where is my view box? WPF controls at. Oh snap! Oh, we got a raid. We got a raid. Nothing is impossible. Hey, friends. Oh my goodness. What's up, Dev Chatter coming in? My name is Scott Hanselman. You can find me on the internet. I'm not actually Scott Hanselman at all. Hype train coming through. Get those mooches ready. Monkey blocking. Monkey blocking. Thank you, Dev Chatter, for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome, everyone. Whoa, raid right. hype train. Hey, friends. Nothing is impossible. Shia LaBeouf. You know how that makes me feel. But unlike Chris, I'm not a command line guy. I love that warm, fuzzy feeling of my IDE. Well, welcome everyone. Thank you, Dev Chatter, for the uh, raid. I don't get too many raids. That's super duper exciting. Uh, well, so I'm actually not working on a Xamarin app today, which is actually pretty funny because that's usually what I do. Uh, I'm working on a new uh, desktop app for Mac and PC that I can hook up into Stream Deck that will enable me to kind of pass command line arguments to just do a countdown and count up that posts to a file. That's kind of what I'm working on right now. And it's been a long time since I've been in WPF world. So I'm going to <laughs> attempt to figure that out uh, in general. So let's see here. What do I do like a radio? Is there a radio? There's radio groups, radio button uh, in general. Hey everyone. Hey. Brendasaurus, coat of beard in the house. I did trim down my beard. So Raul, welcome to the chat. I appreciate that. Hey friends. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness. Hope you had a fun time over the dev chatter action. Raid incoming. Bananas. I think we're at an all time. Hey mortal, how's it going buddy? Good to see ya. Uh, we are going to build out a few things here. I'm kind of curious. Is my editing continue working over here? Where's my thing at? Um, oh, I'm just in a grid. Dev Chatter, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that so, 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 so much. Uh, oh, my goodness. Welcome. Yes, usually I am streaming on... I randomly decided to do it today. Uh, just because. I don't know why I did, but I just I'm wanted to work on this. Brendasaurus, thank you for the follow. Yeah, yesterday I've been rebuilding my Hanselman app, and uh, today I decided I'm going to switch it up and do some WPF work, because who doesn't love WPF work, really, at the end of the day? <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'm going to try to do all of it on uh, .NET Core 3. However, I am over here in the world of uh, 2017, but at the same time, 2019, because I want to use Edit and Continue over here, so... Uh, but what I want to do is put in some things. Let's do a grid dot row definitions, row definition, and let's just put in a bunch of them, right? So I equals auto for fun, and uh, let's go there. I'm way up, I feel blessed. 
Stupender, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. We're maybe hitting our goal. We got we got quite a bit. I'm going from a birthday goal of 1,000. I got like three months left, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, pretty excited about it. Yeah, thanks for the raid. Uh, yeah, so today, like I said, we are working on building a little application for uh, for streaming. So I want to do countdowns, count ups, basically that. So that's all I really, really, really want to do. So if I put a label in here and do text, uh, I guess content equals um, uh, count style, count type that in there. That should go there. Cool. Um, it's gonna be a beautiful application. <laughs> Thanks, Zungeon. I appreciate that uh, coming in. Let's put in a stack panel. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to put in a uh, grid dot uh, column. And we'll do one. And then we're gonna throw in some, I guess, radio buttons. That's what I kind of want here. I don't understand why there's not a radio group necessarily. And we will put a margin here of, what are you padding? No margin, I guess. Do a hundred just so I can, or 50 so I can see stuff here. Beautiful. Look at those buttons. And I'll say content count down. Boop, boop, boop. Then content uh, up. And there we go. Good afternoon, Gum. Welcome back to the stream, buddy. I appreciate you being here. And thanks for everyone that's hanging out, raiding. Uh, like I said, I normally do Xamarin stuff, but you came in on a non Xamarin day. Tasashi, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Hey, friends. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I appreciate that. Uh, and of course, we um, appreciate those follows. There we go. So let's do, look at this beautiful WPF app so, so far. <laughs> I got everyone came in on file new. That's the best time to come in on stuff. So, oh, it was the on, is checked, through. Boop. Now if I tap on that, there we go. I like that. Hey, Bill, how's it going? How is it going? Yes. Um, okay, count down, and then we're gonna have a, let's do this, this'll be my count down type. And then here, we're gonna do, auto, huh? There we go. And then we could do like, is there like spacing? Uh, Row, data grid row. I'm so used to the Xamarin Forms controls that I don't even know how to do WPF anymore. Like, is there a way to do spacing in between <sighs> vertical alignment? Probably not, huh? You know how I always get around is let's do like another column and then be like 20 and then two. Now we have, now we have space in between. <laughs> there we go. Bill, thanks for, for stopping in. Hope everything's going well with you uh, over there. Appreciate that. Getting raided. I need a raid dance or something like that. Oh, it's good. Yeah, you got you to gotta hit that notification bell. Bill's part of that notification squad. I don't know who came up with notification squad, but um, it's an interesting <laughs> phrase, I guess. A notification squad. So label, we're going to do a... Um, time like how much time time in general and then that's going to be in i guess grid dot row one Boop. uh how do you do spacing this is wpf look at this w what is this it is wpf this beautiful beautiful wpf on a white surface it's pretty fantastical uh yes and I think here, what do we want? We want a... I guess we want like a... a what we want. What's well, a group box? There's so many things I have no idea. I have no idea what this all is. This is great. Document viewer. 
Content control, combo box. Calendar. Like a time picker? No, there's no time picker, huh? Okay, so let's put in a text box. What's the difference between a text block and a text box and a label? Text is not supported. System Windows Control text box. Okay, cool. So this will be grid dot row one, grid dot column one, boop boop boop, and then horizontal alignment stretch. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, there should be two, I guess, huh? There we go. So that'll be time. I guess actually what I want is not a text box. I want a hmm. Not a list box. I want a uh, like a count up, count down. How do? I, what is that thing? Xbox status slider. Not a slider. Scroll view. Oh, text block holds paragraphs, and a label is just a label. So I want label. I want a. What is the thing where I can get a thing where people can click up and down? Counter, numeric counter. And if this isn't a thing, then why, where is it? Scroll bar? No. Scroll viewer? No. Back panel? We're learning WPF for the first time. WPF control counter. Yeah, where is the WPF numeric up down? Extended WPF toolbox. Uh, yep. Okay, let's stop debugging. And let's pull in that. Is that the community toolbox? Everyone loves a little community toolbox. So let's do a toolbox. WPF toolbox. Cool kit. And it's been a long time since I did WPF. Is this the official one? Seed extended WPF toolkit. WPF controls. WPF Windows Community Toolkit. Is it this one? I think it's this one. I like it. Boop. Right. Call that pup. WPF material design. How do I do that? Is there like a, oh, there's this thing. I saw this. What's that one WPF um, um, toolkit that gives me like really good looking apps by default? That's really, oh, here it is. Mash, Ma apps. I install that. Ma apps. What I want. Ma apps. I do that. Install, quick start. I'm way up, I feel blessed. All right, we'll see. Well, we got some follows. Rubio, Rubis coming in with the follow. Appreciate that. And Makan, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate that. There's that. I'm a button. I'm a button. You're a button. Hmm. This will that should work, huh? Right that. up I feel blessed. Okay, so let us maybe set up this thing then. So we want to set up we have our metro window is in here. This will be a metro window. Oop. Ma. And then I guess I need to go into the go behind and do a intro window. Oop. All right. Built in styles. Go in here, whatever this resource dictionary is. Go in here, throw that in here. And 
newer. All right. Good. Let's see what this looks like. Oops. Too many resource dictionaries. Cool. That not exists. Good work. XML is not valid. Oh no. Um, source? Error. Could not find that. Hmm. That's interesting. Huh? Do, 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 do. I don't actually know if I really want this in general, but I'm just like, why not? Oh, that just messed up something. All right, cool. What's this look like? Whoa, not what I wanted to have happen. It does look better, but that doesn't look, that does not look good. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, okay. How come that didn't work? Oh. Merge dictionaries. Let's go into our folder. Packages. Lib. Guess in here. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. My app theme. Error occurred. Unable to find light blue. Ma apps can't find light blue. Mm hmm. Hmm. Styles. Accents. Is the theme in the NuGet package, maybe? I, ass I would assume so, but I don't see it inside of here at all. Like, it's... Oh, maybe it's inside the XML. Oh, this is 165. That's why. I, I think there's a pre-release of it. That's probably what it is. Did not read it correctly. Oh, weird. Ah. Oh, there we go. There's a pre-release of it. That's what I actually need. Let me update that. That's where that's where it was. It wasn't actually in the thing, so do that. That'll probably fix it up. How's it go? 165 and older. So there's probably this old one, but we can do the new hotness. Why not? Let's see what this looks like now. Ba -da -ba -ba. Main window. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Much better. Look at these, that's beautiful. Ma apps. All right, okay, cool. So we're over here. Now what we need is a, where is my toolbox at? Um, I guess I could bring in my Where's my WPF community toolkit? How do I use it? Bended. How do I get started? I just do a new XMLNS. And then we'll say toolkit. Um, Microsoft, Microsoft dot, where is it at? Hmm. Um, there's, there is a WPF one. Am I, am I wrong? Where's the getting started at?
Right, did I not install the correct one? Manage NuGet packages. Installed. Oh, did I not install it? Ooh. Community toolkit WPF. WPF controls. Oh, this is the Donut Core one. Cool. Uh, which I guess we don't want right now. Let's do 510 because we will need it, I guess. I guess for some reason I didn't actually. Oh, it failed to install. You're trying to create packages in 461, but it's not compatible with that. 462. I'm about to change it all to Donut Core 3 anyways, but let's move this to, I guess, 472. Sure. Don't matter. Don't matter. Uh, okay. I assume it doesn't matter. So it's probably so mad at me right now. Um. Oh man. And nougat packages installed. Okay. Community toolkit WPF. Give me this. Give me 510. Install. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And it did install. Okay, cool. So, be toolkit. There we go. Controls. That one. Cool. So then our toolbox should ideally have tools in it. Maybe. Maybe. Rebuild it here. Let's see what's in our toolkit. All right. So. Go here, we should have something like toolkit, then like numeric up down. Oh, that's all inking. Map control. I guess that's not what I wanted. Rolls. XMLNS. Toolkit 2. Toolkit. Yes. WPF UI control, interop, WinRT. I don't know if that's what I want. Toolkit two. E. Uh, where are these controls at? Controls for WPF. Oh no, there's like nothing in here. There's... Where is the like numeric? Uh... I guess we have to use the extended one, integer up down. I don't like that. Repeat button. I thought we said it was gonna be in this community toolkit. Is there like nothing in it? Extended toolkit? Very frustrating. Where's my WPF toolkit at? I thought we had like a uh, roles. The only W UWP. Can't. That's. Ah. Frustrating. Okay, so extended one is what we're saying. Right, let's stop that then. Frustrating. Um, all right. Get rid of this. And we will manage nuggets. Extended toolkit. I guess this one is what you're saying. This extended one. Okay. I wonder if the Ma one has a 
Do they have controls built on at all? Controls. They might just have it in here. Oh, they do have it in here. Wow. It's already in here. It's already in here. It's in the maw. So we don't need this. Okay, cool. Let's uninstall that puppy. It's in the maw. Also uninstall this. Uh, installed. Uninstall that. So yeah, I didn't even realize that it's in there. Extended. Whoa, who, who's, who has emote? E emotes that are spoons. That's pretty rad. Oh man, that's cool. Uh, all right, cool. So let's try this again. I already have Ma in here. So what we want to do is this over here, put this over here, put this over here, put this over here. And we don't want this, but we do want a Ma. And then numeric, up, down. That's all we wanted. And grid dot row equals one. And grid dot column equals two. Oop. Yay, we did it. Then I guess we don't even need uh do horizontal alignment. Start left. Oop. And then we can do like a min width, I don't know, 100. Oop. We can say content value. I'm just guessing at values. Um, five. Yeah. Alrighty, this is looking great. Okay. Um, do they have like grids or anything? I'm just interested to see what all he has in here. Uh, buttons and toggle buttons. Let me see all these things. Let me open up all the things. I'm so excited. Split view and flyouts and progress bars and progress rings and drop downs and tabs. A text box. Why do, oh, is that a better text box? Toggle button, toggle switch. Badge controls. Oh, I hope there are photos for all of these. Oh, that's the main window. We already saw that. Mm, better buttons, a square button, a circle button. Default look. Oh, I'm gonna use all these controls. Context menus. Oh, data grid. Don't need that. Oh, dialogues. I like that. Split view. Don't need that, but that's okay. Flyout. Don't need that, but that's okay. Oh, progress bars. That's cool. Oh, progress rings. I like this. Tab control. Don't need that, but that's cool. Watermark. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I will use that that text box, I guess. So controls, text box helper, watermark, attach properties. Oh, that's cool. Tile, don't need that. Toggle button, cool. Toggle switch, don't need that either, but that's okay. Transitioning content and badges. Ooh, that's cool. We need that in Xamarin Forms. That's Okay, cool. So we have that. How do I do uh, WPF grid spacing between columns? There has to be a way to do this built in. You could write your own grid with margin class. That's not helpful. Our type content and margin is strictly framework element. resources border oh interesting i don't like that but um okay i guess we're gonna do it this way so all right so we have time and then what we want is a simple label again dot row will be two and then this will say content it'll say uh output output so here what we want to do then is do a text block text uh, will be 
text text block. But I like labels. I want a text box here actually. Text. Well, so why why is it better? Text a text block better than it looks like the same to me. box and then this will be um i want like starting in zero does that work when i do oh yeah it does work cool wrapping and much uh yeah I, but it's just a simple label i think that's my my thing right now is like it's just a simple there's like not much that's uh um on there I would say. So I guess like that is because like is there any advantage or not of, of doing it if uh, the grid dot row equals two grid dot column equals one up oh, two Oop. I wish that there was automatic spacing between anything. That's super duper annoying. Um, I guess I can do like a margin of like 10. Go 10. Zero. Uh, nope. I don't want either. Um, You can put a border across everything. Is that the best way to do it? Huh. Null pointer asks if there's any ETA on list view scroll position and scroll direction. I don't know. Maybe. Is there a thing? I think there's scroll view, but not a list view, because I think collection view, collection view will probably handle that, or you could use like a flex layout would handle that too. Uh, today, you could put that in a flex layout. Yeah, the collection view would probably be the, the go-to on, on what that's doing, I would say. This person says, you can write your own grid with margin class. Here from grid, override, arrange, override. This is kind of cool. This. I can do this and then put a border around everything. Force it. Like that. Uh, oh, I can't do that during the session. I see. I see. Um, that's fine. We want starting output, and then what we want is uh, another one. So we'll do. This one will be row three and row three. And then this will say finish text. Output and finish text. And then this will say, let's do this. There we go. So we'll have like up, are you gonna count up? Are you gonna count down? How long starting text, finish text. Let's go that I can just do this. I guess I don't need that. Starting in blank. Uh, ooh, that's a... Derek asks, this is just WPF, because I'm going to uh, take this app and run it on .NET Core 3. So this is just WPF. Just WPF um, in general. Because there is WPF support for Xamarin Forms, but it's like third party, so I'm just like just creating a very simple app to do this here. So how many? Let's do another row. Need one more row, and then let's do a button. Oh, is there a? Uh, yep. And we'll say content equals start. 
start. And this will be, well, how do I do the, the moth thing had a button and it had a, uh, I have a toggle button, toggle button like that. I'll go by it. Doo -doo. Oh, I guess that's not it. Is it? Oh, it's toggle. Oh, just toggle button. And it like overrides the theme of it. That's interesting. Start. Okay, cool. And then here we'll do grid uh, column grid dot row equals Three grid on grid dot column span two would be row four column span three. Cool. Oh my goodness. How about this grid resources border grid resources border padding five. Uh, so we did. Okay. So you're saying. Yeah, put a border around all of it. Yeah. So basically, I do that, right? So I needed to re—I need to restart it here. But I think you're right. I should be able to now reboot it with those style changes, which are there. And then what you're saying is, for each of them, I kind of think that you have to do like a border on on each of them, though. You know what I mean? So if I do like border, boop, and then that there, and then here, I guess we'll do. I guess it's a it's at least a little bit nice to organize them if you put them in borders like that. And then we can say because you're like oh all of this content will be inside of here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, not bad. And then let's move this down here. This would be grid.row, move that here. Oop. Oh, see, I don't want, and then I definitely need to make sure that this is, uh, these controls. Here, I also need to do like a margin of zero. Oop. Count type, count type also be horizontal options right finish start okay then we're gonna put these other ones in here so we'll put a order here this here boop cool boop all right then Oh, that's cool. That will definitely align things there. Hey, digital. But or not, we got a raid incoming. Hey, friends. Raid number two, Adron. How's it going, buddy? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. There you go. Uh, I'm building, I'm working on a brand new, beautiful WPF application, which I'm very proud of so far. Uh, welcome to the stream. Nothing is impossible. But unlike Chris, I'm not a command line guy. <laughs> I love that warm, fuzzy feeling of my IDE. So welcome, 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 Adrons. Uh, there's a lot of people streaming today. This is uh, very interesting. So yeah, right now I'm working on a beautiful, absolutely stunning WPF application. And what I'm doing is I'm building a little stream counter for starts and stop of streams. And we're gonna do this for WPF today and next week, Mac. But the key here is that I wanted to work with Stream Deck. So I want to be able to easily pass in uh, information, basically, what I want to go with. So uh, uh, via the Stream Deck, because right now I have to use this other app, and then I need to, I have to use Snaz, and then I have to go do stuff, and I have to like start stuff, stop stuff. It has a lot of stuff built in, but I'm just like, I want something that can take in command line arguments that can work on .NET Core 3, so you can you can just boot it up. You don't have to install anything, right? Just do it and then go from there. So I'm not very good at WPF because it's been a long, long time, but the chat room has been 
graceful enough to help me out and do this. So welcome back. I don't know what Adron was working on, but you know. Hey friends. But welcome to the stream. And it is the one day that I'm not surprisingly doing Xamarin development. Although it's all C-sharp and XAML, so it's all very, very similar anyways. Except for I needed to figure out where the, the toolkit is, because I need this numeric up and down thing here. Which is cool. Um, ah, a little Go code action. I need to watch your stream, because I don't know anything about Go. Except for the Go enthusiasts are very, very much diehard. <laughs> so that's all I know. Like that. Okay, so let's do one more border. So what we found out from um, Bill in the chat is that we can add these border properties around these. And the problem with the WPF grid, unlike the Xamarin Forms grid, which I believe did it correct, uh, it has no spacing on it. So um, you have, I, I can't really see Derek. I'm gonna have to, Derek's, Derek's very, I think your theme is like black, so I can't see it, but there is no, there's no row spacing. There's no spacing on the, on the WPF version of it, which is super duper sad. I feel like that's an oversight. So we're adding these border properties around it, adding a padding to everything, which is super cool. Now we have this beautiful app. Look at this. Um, then we have this toggle on and off, uh, which is cool. Um, is on toggle. Toggled. I don't know, I have no idea if, uh, I have no idea if you know if it's toggled or not. Checked? I guess it's checked. Is checked. False. Do you have, is there checked content? No, checked and unchecked. That's funny. Okay, cool. So we have our app and we built this using edit and continue XAML. It's kind of like live reload in there. Ooh, go get that Chinese food. Go do it. Go eat some foods. Go get it. Now we have our beautiful app. This is the in, almost the entirety of the app. But I think I want one more row to specify the output path. Yes. Well, Derek, the problem is that there is no row spacing or column spacing. That's the problem. It's not there. It's not there. I want it to be Hi, there. Friends. But it's not. It's not there. Not there because it hates us. The WPF grid hates us. That's the problem. And here, I don't even know why I have five, 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 five. You just do five. It knows. It knows. Um, this looks good. I'm very content with this, actually. If that's my entire user interface, I'm very, very ha happy. The board, the border looks good. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look. It, it could look a lot worse. I think is the is what I'm going with here. Uh, there you go. I like this up down and then I'm gonna hit start and then it's gonna like disable stuff uh, in there. That's cool. All right. We want to do one more thing since we added one more row. We are going to add a um, label text box. We're gonna add one more which will be output or or five and this will be a uh, directory uh, file maybe file and then actually what I can do surprisingly is I can just get rid of this I don't, I don't need that anymore uh, do, do, do. then grid two can just be column one column one column one Column one, two. Oop. All right. Cool. So then this file path, I guess what I want to do is like file name. Um, Actually, what I should do, I guess, is do like a another column here. Uh, oops, column one. There we go. And then here, what I can do is I can put in another uh, button. This will be 
will be the file name. Although I don't know if it necessarily matters if the user can set the file name, but I'll let them do it just in case. I guess maybe you could boot up multiple instances of this app for some reason. This is WPF, Derek. Uh, WPF, no UWP, because I want this to run on all versions of Windows. So this is w WPF using uh, Ma apps to do some stealing of the styling on here. And then let's put a button on here. And this will be a uh, copy, uh, content, copy. Uh, I thought that there was, oops, for dot column. Two. Cool. Uh, I thought maybe there was a really cool, how do I do this thing? Standard circle button. This, how do I do this? Boop. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and I get, yeah, well, could do that, but I, again, I want it to run on a Windows 7 and Windows 8, so if people still have it, so that's kind of my, my jam. Is there some UI design tool? Well, right now I'm in, there is, right now I am in the editing continue mode, so if I come in and, and uh, do, like background red, it just like updates, right? Um, I can just modify whatever I want. Um, but if I stop debugging, so here, there's a there's a whole designer right here. So I could come in and design it manually. Like I could I could move these around and copy and paste these in. Yeah, it's just standard WPF. Like it's just here. It's just easier if I just do do this other. Just run it. Some people like to run it. Some people don't like to run it. So it's kind of up to you. Flat button lives in here. How do I get, um, I get a bunch of icons. Guides. Icons and resources. Right. Usage obsolete. Oh, I use the icon pack. I could do that. The nougat. Is control to use with these awesome things. All right, icon pack. Be here. Manage nougat packages. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Whoa. Like and thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Appreciate that coming in. Oh, dot my apps. That's kind of cool. I can do that too. Icon packs. There we go. Uh, oh, dot font. Awesome. So many things. Oh my God. So many things. Um. Use the icon packs. I guess there's a whole, oh my goodness. There's a lot of them. Um, it really matters. How do I? Uh, how do I get them? Oh, if I install all of them, I see. Uh, icon pack quickly get all of the thing. What do I have installed here? I have 4.0 beta. I need to turn on that. Simple icons are stylish, awesome things. No dependency I like that. Okay. Simple icons. Okay, and this would just be copy. Mm. I 
guess this is not what I wanted. Free SVG. Hmm. Maybe Font Awesome one? Copy. There we go. Copy. I guess I'll use Font Awesome one. Let's uninstall that, I guess. All apps. So Metro, Font Awesome, install that puppy. Boop. So if I come in here and I'm like, all right, I want this to be a uh, let's see new XML and S. How do I get it to work? Oh, icon packs. There we go. So icon. Next. All right, then if I go into my thingy button, do I make it a thing? Button. Huh? Metro button circle. How do I put in a the question is how do I put in a icon packs? Mm -hmm. Uh ma apps uh icon in circle button. I don't know how to do anything. Help me! How do I put an icon into it? That is that is a good question. That's not what I want either. Controls, modern, pack icon. Oh, I see. So inside of the button, In it's in the button. Okay. We wanna put a, I'm gonna put a control. Dot pack icon mod. Icon. What does it say? Copy and paste it. Pack icon modern. Pack icon modern. What that where does that live? Pack. Oh. Got it. Find. Copy. Regular. Oh snap. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we should probably make this thing. Uh, uh, let's see. With 50. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Height 50. That's way too big. Uh, let me just run this thing so I can see it in action. Hey, Breaker. How's it going, buddy? Whoa, what is that icon? 2019, what do you got there? OWL All Access Pass. I don't know what that is. That's cool. A lot of... Oh, thanks. Yeah. Log into SO and upvote good answers. Oh, I could do that. Mm, I don't know what my SO is. I need to figure that out. That's a good recommendation. Overpass. Oh, for Overwatch? Overwatch. All right. So we probably want this to be like 30 and 30. Yeah, and then you can Tap on that, copy. And then what we want to do is probably do like file name and the file name will be not let's do this. So it'll be like countdown.txt. Oop. Then that's it. Cool. Then you can start and then you can stop. So now what we want to do easily enough is start to count down stuff. So whenever I start, it'll do some countdown stuff. So let's maybe do a one more row in the bottom here. 
And what we want to do is put another label, and this will be uh, content equals uh, something. And we'll just say, I'm going to put it in a border, I guess, too. Row six. And then we'll do this here. And then we'll do like horizontal option alignment equals center. And we'll say countdown here. There we go. That's going to be our whole thing. We're going to count up. We're going to count down. That's all we're going to do. And do that. And then we hit start. Hit stop. Be good to go. So now what we want to do is stop debugging. We got our app. And what we want to do, uh, we have a beautiful, beautiful app here. Look at that is I want to now bring this app and everything I just did back over to .NET Core 3. Let's see if I can do that and bring it over. Oh, that would be ideal. So let's go ahead and manage our NuGet packages and see what we have installed. Let's just make sure everything is compatible. So we want to install my apps, this, this one, up that. Then we probably want to install the font awesome pack. Perfect. Install that. That's okay. That should still work. Let's go into our main window. We are going to swap Get rid of that. And what we want to do is bring in our entire thing, our grid. Oop. And we also want to basically bring in this stuff here and also bring in the icon pack Oop. then and change this here then good let's go into our app XAML and all we're gonna do is copy and paste this in here So now, if this is going to run, we should ideally get the same exact application, but um, I, oh, main window, oh, yeah, metro, metro window. <laughs> Got to type it correct, breaker. There you go. There you go. Metro window, good old Metro window. Well, I like the Ma apps. I mean, they, they probably need to have like a material version of it, but it's, I'm pretty amazed if this will just run maybe. Let's see. Oh, hey -oh. cool. We have the exact same application now running on .NET Core 3. So this application is running right on .NET Core 3. Beautiful. Even the, even the, the, the thing, which is, doesn't even have a .NET Core <laughs> compatible version of it, but it totally works. So now what we want to do is start generating some stuff inside of here. So let's do this. So now, boom, we're running on .NET Core 3. What we can do is bring in a new item and we'll call this my timer view model. Boop. And we're putting this in a .NET standard 2.0 because we want to uh, put this into a Mac application too. And they'll be very different, but that's okay. That's cool. All right, nice. All right, so uh, let's install my MVVM helpers because it is compatible with everything. So why not? Refractored MVVM helpers. Shove it in there. Yes. 
cool. All right. Then we'll do a public class, and this will be a base view model. And then what we can do is we're going to have a pub or an we need an int, so time. Uh, time in minutes. I did not know that tick to make WPF run apps run on Mac. Well, uh, Pine, there's not really a checkbox, but I'll have to recreate the user interface, but I'll probably recreate it in Xamarin Forms and then just reuse the view model and stuff. Um, I don't need Prism for a single screen application. That's just too much. There's no no real reason for, for that at all. No. That trick. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So the, the trick is that it will be um, almost the exact same. I would say almost everything about this is very, very similar. I'll tweak the UI. I'm way but, up, know. I feel blessed. Shadas, thank you for the follow. We are on our way. We're up there. We're doing good things. Hey friends. And welcome. If you're just joining for the first time, we're building some beautiful dub PF apps. We're gonna bait this timer in here. So we want a string of um uh what do we want in here? So inside of here there's gonna be let's just run this again. Let us so I just have it here, right? Run it. And then we can kind of put it side by side and build out our view model while we're doing that. So here. All right, cool. So we're gonna have minutes. We're gonna have a, I guess, Boolean for uh, is down, is up. And then we'll have a int for time. We have a I guess that there will be another, this will be true. Then Boolean is up. Hey, hello from Argentina. Welcome. I need to go to Argentina one day. It's on my list. It is on my list. I have some friends down there. String output, string finish, string file name. There we go. Cool. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put in simple bool, uh, public bool is down. Down for y'all, down, down for y'all. Hey. And then a set and we'll say set property ref is down value. Boop. Will be up. Is up. Is up. This will be an int to minutes. This will be, let's just do a few things here. Finish. File name. These will all be strings. Need to have a little shortcut for it, but that's okay. Output, output, output. And then finish. Finish, finish, file name, file name. All right, and then minutes, and minutes, and is up. Cool. And then probably we should have a, another string, which is a public, um, let's do a string of countdown output and we'll do a uh, one of these this is what we're gonna put here output and then also we need to have a public I command of copy copy file path command that in we also need a public 
I command of start, stop, timer. Cool command. And then what else do we need? I think that's it. Mm-hmm. Back in here, we should be able to do our uh, binding data context. Ma metro window dot data context. This will be our timer view model. We should pull it in right. Model. Cool. Then we should be able to do like Uh, does this look at my thing? What do you do X bind? W, I think that's what I have to do, right? Is it X bind? Let's close all these windows. Oop. X bind WPF. Is that what you have to do? Uh, that's UWP. Difference between binding and X bind. Okay, so it is just normal binding for WPF, correct? I don't know if anyone's a WPF a expert in the house, but that is what I guess I need to do. Here, let's make this smaller. So it is down. I don't know why it doesn't pull up my Telesense though. Good. I know nothing about the X binds. All I know is I need to bind some stuff. Should work now. Errors. File is locked. Okay. Build succeeded. Put this on a new line. Let's get rid of some stuff. This is too much. Too much. I'm way hey, up. I feel blessed. Hey, yo, Perry. Perry in the house. Nothing is impossible. Thank you for the follow. We are on our way to crushing some super awesome goals. Um, binding is up. Very. Yeah, there is no X bind. It's intro. Um. Uh, WPF design. Data contacts. How do I get that? I think design time data contacts. Ah, what it is. So I need to come in here and I need to do. Uh, yeah, these need to come over, and then I need to do a d colon data context of d colon design instance, and then I need to do type of view model and then I need to do his design time creatable yeah true and then that work no is up down interesting Oh, I, I was just following that person's. I was like, this doesn't work. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Design, design data context in Telesense. Hey, Daniel, how's it going, buddy? How is it going? All right, so I just want the design time stuff. Is, is there a checkbox here? No. D 
E, okay. So they're saying that I can do, do D colon data contacts, D design instance. Uh, and I can do not what I just had. should work without any more code. That's what I thought. Why doesn't it work though? Just set, I did set the data context right there. I thought so. Well, so here, right? If I do Nope. You don't even need to set the design time creatable. This data context right here. I don't know. It doesn't like me today. Yeah, because I'm like literally setting the data context. Oh, is there a Couture? No, that's probably why. Um, That could be why. And then it doesn't give me an error. Mm. 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 All right, let's give it a Couture really quick. Oh, it's over here. Public timer. That could be it. It could be just like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Because I just want to, and I know it works with Xamarin Forms, just by setting the data contacts. And then the IntelliSense engine should. Doesn't want to find it. I mean, I have it set. Let me um, close all windows and open it again, I guess. Run once, maybe. I feel like it shouldn't have to do it. Maybe it's because it's .NET. Maybe it, it is preview tooling, so it is preview tooling. So I am, it could be a bug in general. So that, I think that may be it. Um, the, I, I'm assuming that's what it is. It, it's probably a... Uh, Probably a bug or something like that. So I will report it to Marco. Marco, I'm coming for you. Uh, all right, so numeric up, down, value. Away, we'll do a binding to goodness. minutes. Okay. Kaido Koopa, Koopa Troopa, coming in hard. I appreciate that. Appreciate the follow. Let's set the default here to five. Then output will be. Uh, Let's do this. Minutes, minutes, seconds, seconds. The clean and rebuild. I don't know. I did rebuild. Did it. The clean and rebuild. Binding to um output. Well, we can also do this. Uh, we can relaunch just to see if that'll do anything. We can see if it's going to do it. Whoa! While you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. Hey, friends. Alicia, thank you coming back for the fifth month coming in hard. I appreciate that. Of course, every single time there's a bit, there's a bite, there's a subscription, there's anything. Um, all of that code is donated to Girls Who Code. Uh, so definitely check that out. That's in the, the notes below. Additionally, we have a new program, which is Bits for Bytes. So anytime you donate any bits over 100, of course, all gets donated to Girls Who Code. Um, I will put your name in my source code, and that will be publicly available for everyone forever. So that's pretty cool. So give that a look if you want to throw any of those things my way. But live your life. Nothing is expected ever. Uh, so here, we're going to do a finish, and we'll say... Um, let's do this exclamation point and this here will be 
binding to finish. It's annoying. It's definitely pulling up IntelliSense of something. I don't know what, so um, something. And all I'm doing is... And I'm going to do what all Visual Studio developers do. I'm going to start right-clicking on everything. I'm going to start right-clicking on everything. Countdown.txt. There we go. And then here, this will be a binding to a file name. There's definitely something here that's going on. It wants to do something. And then we have our toggle button. Cool. Nothing is impossible. Ever. So um, we'll do one more string here, which we're going to do a, um, a start, stop. Uh, start, stop. And this will be a string, and we're going to bind the content here to start. And binding start stop. All right. And then we can do a little. have to create properties uh yeah i should really create a snippet right from here i never know how to do that there needs to be just a like create snippet from this what i have things i don't know how to do it. snippet insert comment insert snippet i need to create one from it we need a way to write prop is that it oh, let's see here hold on prop oops Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. So you're saying write prop. Oh, and tab. Oh, that's better. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I knew there were things built in, but I need to do a oh, prop full. Interesting. That's cool. Prop. Prop A. Oh, I don't like that. Prop DB. I don't like that. Oh, set value. Uh, oh, interesting. The dependency property. Prop G. Private. Oh, cool. I'll do prop full and then I'll have to do set properties my own set property which takes in a reference but i would like to modify my own snippet but that that's good to know that that's that's there in general i could do a let's try this out so i can do prop full and then i'll do bool and then i'll do is running and then i'll do is running so much better and then we can get rid of that of course then here we'll go ahead and use expression body of members, use expression body of members, and then we'll kind of put this in here. There we go. Cool. Easy enough. Oh, forgot to put in a thing in here. All right. Um, now down here. So this will be the start stop content, and this will be a Command. Yeah, there should be a command on there. Binding to the start stop timer command. Oop. And then this one will have a command to a thing of copy file path command. Oop. And then here, this will be a binding to the count down. Output. If everything is still working correct and my bindings are in place and my things are in place and we still should get those default things in there. Yeah. Minutes, minutes, seconds, seconds. I'm just going to use this as a string format in there. Maybe. I'm not sure how I want to code it yet, but nice. 
All right. Um, so now what we want to do is we're going to do a very simple uh, void. Void, copy, execute, copy path command. All right, and then start, stop, execute. All right, so that's good. What we want to do is If is running right here we're gonna say start stop equals is running equals the opposite of is running cool I'm running then I'll say stop else I'll say start and that should give me at least start stop. Oh, I need to new it up, I guess, huh? Let's do that up here. We'll say start stop command equals new. Is there a command built in? Uh, Hey, no, thank you. Yeah, we're looking for some uh, lightning topics right now. Where is uh, I need a I need a I need a Chrome up in here. WPF command. Why is there not just one built in literally? Is it relay command? I don't, do I have a relay command? I have to imagine that Ma does one, probably. He's saying Ma. Oh, I don't have anything in here. So this is just in here. Uh, command implementation, D sharp. this and shove it over here because why not it's ridiculous that it doesn't have one built in weak event manager does that Hmm. Doing. Can execute change. What is a weak event manager? Assuming it's their own thing that they did. Assumption. Weak event manager. Right. When in down, copy the code. Cool. I'm just gonna put this in MVVM helpers probably. You have a command. Weak event manager. Weak event. Oop. Let's see if we have stuff. Better, better.
is null or empty. They probably use some statics up here. They did. Silly kids. These silly kids nowadays. These days. Boom. Now we got a command. Copy and pasta. What's this? Bro. That's interesting. And then we can rename and we can get rid of these silly underscores. Nobody wants those in their lives. No need for reflection. Google delegate command. Now nope, it's already here. Too late now. We've gone too far down the rabbit hole of this shenanigans. I think it uses uh, this get type info if it's nullable or not. Parameters and whatnot. Who knows? Let's rename that. That. Boop, boop. Actually, app or a PC app, since you're using Xamarin, which is... No, no, no. I'm building a WPF app. Uh, pop. Honey pop. Honey pop. We're building a WPF app on, on .NET Core 3. It's not a Xamarin app. Um, for the PC. So WPF so it can run everywhere. But we're... I just copied code from Xamarin Forms for the command. But just a command. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was just, I was stealing code from Xamarin Forms for a command. Since there's not a command built in, I was like, I'm going to take that. And it's just .NET standard code, so I'm like, give it to me uh, in general. So so this thing, the entire goal of the app, now that everyone's been watching for a long, long time, I really appreciate it. What is going on? Uh, um, Is to... Oh, I need a new command. Go away. So will take execute, start, stop. And timer, pop, 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 and then this will come in. Boom. This will be my uh, copy file path command equals new command, and then execute. Boom. Cool. So the entire goal of the app to begin with, we'll see if I'll be able to finish it or not in my time given. We got some more people in the stream. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. Does you have this app? And we are going to basically, oh, that's cool. Start, stop, start, stop. We're also gonna make it so it's just, uh, it's like a very small app, like that big. We're gonna make it not main window. <laughs> it'll hit start, stop. It'll start like a countdown and go from there. So we need a date time in here of, um, will be start time, date time, end time. What? Oh, Honey asks, why aren't you using the Visual Studio RC? Wasn't the new preview included with that? No, no, no. So there's the RC, and then this is preview four, which is newer than the RC. So this is like one up for it and for the new .NET Core 3.0 oh, preview 3 you need the new preview <laughs> you need the newest of the new preview yeah so all right so I need to do a that's start time end time now if you're counting up you're not going to need an end time and what we should put in our main window is something like you no know, is is enabled i need a binding here and i will need to do a is not running some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it nothing is impossible Honey coming in with the sub. I appreciate that. Oh, awesome. Now you got sweet, sweet emotes all up in there. Working hard to get three emotes, but you need a certain amount of, a uh, certain amount of people to do it. So I appreciate that coming in hard. Nothing is impossible. Oh my goodness. And every single time there's any bits, there's any things, of course, you know, there are any subs, all that money goes to girls who code um, throughout the first half of this year. Last year we raised 
$300, I think, or so for Girls Who Code. And additionally, Microsoft matches everything that comes in. So by you subscribing or continuing to subscribe, that all gets doubled, which is really, really rad. So, uh, yeah. Not. Oh, I have an is busy and is not busy. So let's just use that actually, because I have that in my base view model. We can get rid of some of this boilerplate code. We'll say is busy, which is, is running, will be opposite. And then here we can say is not busy. So that's the only way that this stuff should be changed. The rest of it doesn't really matter because I don't want you to change that stuff. We'll kind of lock in it, I guess. Well, I guess I could um, not really worry about that. And what I could do is probably store local, like current stuff. So maybe I'll put in inside of here, we'll put like bool um, current is down and then int current time. Yeah, and if it, if it, um, yeah, I guess here you only need to have the, oh yeah, that'd be a little time up. Got it. Do you know of any visual designer for XAML? Oh yeah. Well, um, over here, right. If you're just in 2017, well, I'm reusing .NET Core, so the designer hasn't been updated yet, but there's um, there's a full designer for like WPF right here, which like runs your app and stuff in 2017, which is fine. But again, this is a d WPF application, right? So um, it's just when you create a new XAML page, it's just like built in. Now I'm running over here, I'm in a .NET Core 3.0 app, which is like brand, 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 brand new. And the designer hasn't been ported yet to run on .NET Core. I'm pretty sure the team's, you know, working on that, but um, hence I only have the XAML here. So, but I can visualize it all in my head, but, um, and then what we showed earlier is like, you can like run the app and modify it and stuff. So like in 2017, since this is .NET uh, framework here, I think they already finished. They rewrote the entire designer from scratch in 15.5, I think. And also, like, you can just come here and, like, I'm debugging the app and then be like, right? And then, like, hot reload for WPF. So, but um, they're going to be doing it for 2019. It's just over here. So, yep. Yeah, so that, that's what I'm doing is, and yeah, Perry, that's a good thing. A lot right right now, basically until the designer is ported because they have to like run the app and stuff. I know the team's working on stuff. Uh, Dimitri's in charge of that now, which is pretty cool. Good dude, working on it. Yeah, it's all there. All right, so current time, current minutes, all right? Is down, is up, are we counting down? Are we counting up? And then yeah, we probably need some strings like current finished text current what did I call it current output. All right, cool. So then what we're gonna do is whenever we start or stop, say current finished equals finished. Current is down equals down. Current minutes equals minutes. Current output equals output. Oh, I guess I need current file. And I'm way up, I feel blessed. Oh, hey -o. Boko guy coming in with the follow. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. File name. Current file. 
name. Make sure that, uh... Cool, cool, cool. Just double check in, make sure everything's okay. And I spelled that wrong. File name. So, when this is going, uh, timer of the stream. So, so there's going to be two use cases for this Janus queue. You can either say start count up or count down. So if you count up, there's no need to set the minutes basically. Um, but if you want to count down a certain amount of time. So I guess inside of this timer, this minutes, you would say like is enabled. And this would be a binding to is down because right, you're going to count down else if you want to count up you can just say like count up a specific amount of time right that's all we want to do in general so there's this and then what we want to do is when are, when would you want to do a count up you might want to do a count up timer if you're doing a let's say you're doing a speed run and you want to count up and you want to hit a button to say start the counter to count up of how long I've been doing it so it's like how long I've been working in this view model or how long um, have I been doing this thing or playing this game or something like that um, and that's when I would want to count up for instance and the whole goal that I really have is that I just want to hit a button and then make it happen yeah in general so now what we want to do is do a PF timer. Do I do a timer? Timer. Oh gosh. Um code. And here. Right, let me let me see what this thread is saying to do here. Hey, how did, uh, who just said they ported Perry? How did your port to .NET Core 3 go? And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to just have an XE people can click without an installer or anything like that. That's my, that's my goal, by the way. So, um, I was just kind of curious to see how that went. Dispatch timer, uh, timer, I guess. Ooh, the dispatcher timer. Oh, oh, that's right. Um, .NET standard timer. It's a timer. It's not a dispatch timer because it's a timer. There we go. System dot threadings. Nope. System dot timers. By what I want. Maybe a feature to go from countdown to count up. So count down until the stream starts and then count up until it ends. That could be a possibility too. Yeah. Like auto auto toggle. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. But here what we want is a, a new timer will be a interval 1000 so every second timer dot elapsed all right what does auto reset do gets or sets should raise it events only once or repeatedly uh, yeah true all right, cool. But I'm not gonna start it. So here, whenever we say start stop, we can say if is busy, which means it's running. I guess, oh, we should also do this. So we should just do timer dot enabled equals uh, is busy. Cool. Then there's a signal time. Yeah, I guess what would be really nice is 
I could do something like, hey, put in your thing like this, and then just make them do it. Little, little geeky, but I think that's okay. That way they can just string format whatever they want. Okay, so, um, let me grab the elapse timer because we don't want that. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, start time, start stop. What did I call it? Called it start time end time. Close date time dot now. End time equals date time dot now dot add the current minutes. Minutes we want. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's a super chill stream. We're trying to be super chill. Oh, cool. Thanks. I appreciate that, honey. On a pop. Codeman, I was searching for some info using SignalR with the Xamarin app. Boom. My blog was the first hit. Awesome. That's really rad. I'm, I'm going to do some more collaborations with the ASP.NET team on that stuff, too. So, um,. I'm hoping that we do more on it so we have some more official content. So stream could have segments that have fixed time. What do you mean, Janiskew? What are you talking about? What you talking about? Talking about. So what do we want? Current. So what I need to do now if I'm counting down, then I want to do this else I want to do something else. And then um, what I want to be able to do is, uh, where is my countdown output? And I want to do, if I'm counting down, I need to do end time. I'm way up, I, I feel blessed. blessed. Go, oh, man. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that coming in. We're on our way to a thousand. So end time is going to equal date time dot now minus. Oh, not. I don't need to say it. Var elapse time. So the countdown yeah, it needs to be date time dot now minus. Uh, start time. I can say if 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 the current time if date time so let's say do var now equals date time dot now because why not if the now is greater than or equal to end time, right? Then we're going to say we're going to toggle this puppy. We'll say execute If is busy, turn. Execute. Start stop timer. Boom. And return. 
and then the B. Else, what we need to do is, um, I guess, like, for counting up, you never want it to stop. Countdown is count down this many things, and count up is just continue to count up forever. You're not going to stop at a certain time, but from zero to five, it doesn't make any sense. So the elapsed time is going to be this minus this start time. And we should be able to do countdown equals... Uh, elapse time dot to string and what we want to do is let's be able to do output current output as long as people have a valid current output If there is segments like intro and outro, the stream context, the middle, oh yeah. Well, yeah, it's a bigger use case, I think. <laughs> uh, in the future, could you use Blazor for Xamarin context for native apps? Yeah, I mean, you could run Blazor on, uh, on the desktop or something like that. Does it do it? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, let me debug this thing. this shit now okay so is busy is calls oh if i copy over that'd be true whoa there's new buttons for step over i don't like those um is is busy is true hey oh uh, yeah that should be Counting down. Gosh. Time span. Little days. Second. String input was not correct. Hmm. Okay, how do I do a um There a Dan. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Oh gosh. Yeah, you could do um I guess you could you could bundle something in maybe to it. I mean, who knows the future? Why don't I? <laughs> who knows in a world? Uh any You know what? Nothing is impossible. Let's just be honest about it. Okay, so this is the s string that's going in. Um, got some time span. Hey, why does that not work? Whoa. Time travels. You need to do these slash slashes. Really? Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, the parse value. Whoa. Slash. You have to put a slash in there. Two slashes? I didn't know you had to do that. Okay, so you do zero milliseconds slash. 
Slash slash. Ah, oh, it didn't want to try there. Hmm. Didn't that work? Oh, I'm in the wrong project. Let's get rid of that. That's all. No. Web assembly with XAML. You could do something. Oh, um, you could use like Uno for that maybe. Um, yeah, those are all good ideas. I like it. I like it. How come that doesn't work? Um, how come that doesn't work? Current output. So if I do like. We literally f struggle with this all day yesterday. Time of travel. So that'll be days. This will be What's the difference between one slash and two slash. Time of travel. Right line output. Two string. You need to put an at line in there. Oh yeah, right there. Time tra time of travel. Days. Slash slash. Input was not a correct format. Hmm. But why is there so many slashes? Yeah, I don't know why they're why it is complicated. Seems not correct. So interesting, it inserts additional pieces. So maybe it only needs one? Odd. Hmm. Well, I guess we're in our, we could just do it in our watch window too. Oh, okay, so two string. Unrecognized escape character. So I have to do through an exception. Huh. Through an exception for format exception. Sure, this is a time span. Just some time span. Got two string. We'll just output it as that. string. When in doubt. Okay, so takes in a formatter. Should be a 
Oh, interesting. Okay, so you need to put in at sign. Interesting. So that works. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, because um, we can do, so in the app, oh, what did I just do? That's super annoying that the string format with the curly braces on the inside like doesn't work in general. Yeah, okay, so that does work when you do it, but it doesn't work when you put in the this stuff. String.format. So maybe if I do... Here, instead of doing dot two string, I do a string dot format. I do current output, and then I do lapse time. I'm doing time value. Good question. We're going to debug it and see. See what happens. So it should do something like that. Maybe I don't need the zero in there. Or I do. That should. Oh, there we go. Perfect. No, I just needed to use string format and not two string. So that's good. Oh. Perfect. All right, cool. So in this world. Oh, this is counting up. Durr. So this should be uh, start time or end time. Date time. Elapsed time. So that is the elapsed time. That's actually what I want to do for this. So that would be up timer. Cool. Then what I want to do is end time minus date time dot now. Cool. Oh, that didn't. Oh, I forgot that I have to put a slash in there. Oh, there we go. So, got to put a slash in there. So, that's important. There we go. Starting in this much time. Nice. See if it counts down and does it. All right. So at this point, we have the timer working. Let's see if it finishes it. Oop, skipped a second. Do this and then it stopped. So probably what I want to do is probably do like 500 milliseconds. Maybe like 250. 
50 because it doesn't really matter like you can just do it over and over and over again and propagate it up if you need to that does it we string format it that's cool end time works now if i go and i do count up it doesn't really matter what that is you can start this will say starting in but that's correct okay cool here we need to do an at sign that should work make a i'll probably commented it out for time spans i don't know what, i don't know what you put in there ah build errors oh it's running still uh wpf force dies WPF don't allow window resize. Make a what's the format dot com. Hey, that's true. There you go. Probably good. No resize. Cool. That's what I need to do. I want it to be kind of small like that. Start. Right. We did it. That should just do it. Start. Stop. Start. Stop. Cool. All right. Um, and when you start this, this should immediately all this. Don't need any of that. So that way it updates it immediately. And then here. Fine, all right, cool. There's our timer, there's our logic. Then what we also need to do is uh, right to file. File. Do this here. Hey, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate. I'll give you one of these, Sana. Going away. Thanks for the sub too. I really appreciate it. I'll have to probably sign off pretty soon, but I want to do it to file. It's gonna be so much better, by the way, if this thing works. I want to WPF copy flipboard. Peasy. Oh, I need to probably write an interface for that. Yeah. Probably because we don't have that in essentials, but okay, we'll do that somehow. Then here we need to do like a uh, right to file. So this would be um, and actually before we do this, what we can do is we can say if we do try. Uh, I'm going to do catch. Say invalid um, format, a uh, time format. Use zero. At in front of there, there we go. And what we can attempt to do is say, try to do this. And we'll do output, or an output. time span in there see if it throws an exception then bingo bango grab it it'll always work and then we need to do what i'm way up i feel blessed romaine thank you for the follow file we literally have a quick start um in here this will be much better though
happy. So what we want to do here is we probably want to do something like the try like a catch. We'll call this var base folder equals application data. That sounds good. And then we'll do another this, and then this will be our file name. And then here, this will be our do a string. Oh, I guess I can just do this, huh? Yeah, I can do that. I can this equals that, this equals that, that, path.combine. Then we can do, this will be my dream timer. Okay, and then if directory dot exist, then I can say directory dot Create directory, and we'll do a that equals path dot combine, and then we'll do a file. Let's do this. Go. And then back in our window, because everyone told me to, instead of being a label, we'll say text block here, and then we'll say wrap. Wrap, text wrapping equals wrap, cool. Um, what else do we need? Here, instead of it being main window, make my stream. Timer, then I no resize. And what should our height and width be? Let's see. Brown. Hungry. Just had pancakes this morning. It was so good. Oh, hungry. Uh, all right. So this is probably why I need the real thighs. Uh, split it. Loading. Rah, there we go. Okay, cool. So height. I don't know. Pretty close. Maybe 350. Good. 400 feet. 100, I like that. Cool. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um. Okay, cool. Now I can't resize anything, and that's great. That's exactly what I want. I have a my stream timer. Ooh, yeah, like that. Copy stuff. That'll start to count down, stop to count down. All right, we need to now implement something which will write this to disk. Should never throw an exception, but do put this out in an error message form just for just in case. And what we want to do is simply uh, da, da, da. where's my write all file dot write all text easy enough. 
That's going to be my current file name. I count down. Boom. So the question then becomes in a world where I can put a stopper here, debug it up. Here, do I have OBS installed? Not. Show you guys what this like here. Oh, I was already running. This. Right, let's hit that. Our file current. Ooh. Oh, whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah, I was like, oh, mess that up. Gonna run. our current directory path. Cool. Do this. Local data, my stream right now, right? cool. Continue. On. I guess I will download it. Not like running. It should be running. Let us download again. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it goes. All right, let's follow OBS. Uh, okay. So now this thing is running and it should be outputting things to this folder. I can open it up. There it is. Cool. This is like exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Too funny. So easy. Here, okay, so this is where this all comes together, right? So I have my OBS, which should be running. Maybe, there we go. Sure. Sure. So uh, let's do this. We're going to insert a new color source and we'll just do white on here for now. So you can kind of see this in action, right? Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to do a new text and we'll say text. And then we can say read from file. And then what's cool is that I can do browse and here would just copy that in. So we can just go. File. Boop. And then there we go. And then I guess the text source is gonna be black. Yeah. 
There you go. So what this does is it monitors this file. Um, OBS does, and then now we're gonna have our down, you know, our countdown timer. Boom. OBS timer for the win. And as we do, we can come into this file. Stop it. And then we'll do. Um, Fill pots, and we'll say, uh, "What? I don't. I forget what my format is." <laughs> uh, what did I? What did I say I was gonna do here? Hold on. Uh, let's scroll down here. Wow, a lot of people love the dub dub PF. I mean, my machine is chugging. Good thing it's my other cheered one hundred. Cheered one hundred and fifty bits on March 9th. 2019. Awesome. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. Yep, yep, yep. So now the other thing is we probably want to make it so it deletes that file at the end. So if we come in here, we can also say and it's all done. We'll do file. We'll do a try catch just in case. Uh, let's see. Actually, we'll just do this. We'll do. Oh yeah, when the application closes. I think that's good. We do countdown timer. There's a return in there, so that's never gonna do it. So that's good. I actually wanna do a guy, finally. Right to disk, so we'll do, we'll do a refactoring, extract method. Right time to disk. Here we'll just we don't even need to try finally a silly talk. Here we'll just do this. I'm way hey. up, I feel blessed. Sasquatch! Thank you for the follow. I super duper appreciate that. So that's gonna go and do that. String format it, boom, 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 boom. Right to disk, bam. Awesome. Then probably what we want to do is, yeah, just do it there, it'll be finished. Start up again. Yeah, maybe you could do both. <laughs> Well, normally what we do is we come into here and then as soon as you, before I start the stream, I'll come in here like boom. Um, yeah, I think you could really add on some different properties onto here and you could even do like, I don't know, you could do different stuff. So if I did, right, so make sure that's working. Cool. Let's make sure that this works. I guess there wants to be like a min value. Let's do it in minutes though, because I just I feel like that's the easy easiest. But uh, where is my down? Minimum one. No max. Then this should work. Counting down, counting down. I could also do at the same time. I could do a do both of them, like write a count down, count up, do at the same time. So, Let's see. Boop. Let's do this. Twice. All right, well, so far, let us also at the same time add some stuff in here. Let's 
open this up. So the next thing we need to do is add a Mac application on here, which should be relatively easy peasy. And we need to do the copy thing. So I've been streaming for a long time. So let us um, do a few things before we get out of here in case people want to contribute to this. We are going to come in. It's on my desktop, which is definitely maybe not the best place for it, but it's there. Let us go into my GitHub and let's do a where's my An editor config. Go. Also do a more. Okay. Go ahead and add in my editor config. Let us close all documents. I'm gonna get a bunch of things base in here there you go see that uptime that uptime life that read only yeah I did not expect to go this long but fun trial right to disk access modifier boop Get rid of that anything left in here command who knows Interesting. Was a uh, those things are fine. Reference source. Ooh. Use var. Yes. This is my favorite. Like use var and this document. Boop. Better. Nothing there. So we still need to do it so I can pass this into my stream deck, uh, but we don't add it all. Get rid of that. All right, that's good. Rebuild. That's good. All right, cool. That's good. Let's go ahead and add this to. Oh, running. Yes. There we go. Could just have OBS on this machine, why not? Um, it's locked because it's there. Add this to source control, put that in the git. A fun project, dubpf all day. Ooh, little uh, seven C's. I got this music going on. It's very. I add it to git. There we go. Little icon thing. I don't know what that is. Okay. All right, let's push it to, I don't have GitHub installed. Where's my, I don't have my GitHub extension. Because I just reinstalled this. So, get that, I guess. Look at that internet, look at that internet. It should also read that I crushed it from 2013 to present. All right, let us. This here. good I'm very excited to use this because it'll really simplify my stream just because I almost always default to five and it was like and five but I guess what I probably need next to do is add some preferences on there so that'll be the other thing is like hey save save my preferences or where I was just at so we can do that I believe with my settings plugin yeah that should work because I have all that stuff in there 
I'll be on my list of things to do. So I want to create a few issues here. I'm going to get out of here. It's been a long day. It's been a long stream, but everyone's hanging out. Hey, friends. And then I guess uh, if we go into here. Oh, no. What did? What did I say? Ennings. I'm so interested to know. Last night, my Google Home just was going off to every. We're watching TV, and my Google Home's just like, I'm just going to. Start going off like crazy, why not? You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, cool. Cool, thanks, bro. OBS timer, and it works with anything, not just OBS, but Streamlabs, slobs that I'm using right now, uh, which is cool. It would just be nice, because I want to not have to worry about um, the snaz every single time. It's like a lot. I have to like go in, set a timer, do this thing. I'm just like, give me five minutes. Give me a five minute countdown. Probably very similar, but I'm like, eh. I also want it on Mac. I know people want it on Mac. I didn't say Siri at all. Well, now I said Siri. Hey, Siri. So. Install my stuff. Do, 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 do. Install my stuff. I probably said something that was similar to Siri, basically, what I'm thinking. Who oh, am I? Oh, yeah, it's fun. Fun, and then the, we have a lot of things left to do, though. So we have copy to clipboard still. Important. Uh, all right, so that's there. Let us open that up again. Coffee, yeah, a little Trader Joe's brew. Curious, this will just bring up up the stuff. What's going on here? Preparing my solution. This right, we get 40, 50 people in here. We're close to that. Uh, close to that. Uh. Sweet, sweet partner level. Guess I gotta do more. Those Trader Joe's. Yeah, the, the problem with the Trader Joe's brew, and I'll I'll hint on this here, is that it uh, they have a lot of medium to dark roasts, and I'm more of a light roast person. So uh, Heather likes to buy the she likes to buy the roasts, and uh, uh, which is kind of fun. Okay, so how come I couldn't? How do I publish it now? I'm way up, I feel blessed. Uh, not what I wanted to do. How do I take this now and then publish it somewhere? Marshmallow World, Marshmallow World. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the, the follow. I appreciate that. Initial. I guess I'm not really able to do that because I haven't put it anywhere. How do I put it somewhere now? Just connection. Connect to GitHub. Logged in. Yes, I would want to. How do I? Guess what I could do? Okay, let me try this again. Let me go in here. And then I can delete this dot git, probably. Then and I can open this again. Yeah. Actually I surprisingly yeah, the, the Trader Joe stuff is uh it's right there. It's literally when we're, we're shopping, like, oh, let's pick up something, why not? There we go, now I can publish to GitHub. And I'll call this my stream app. Uh, cool app to count up or down for streamers down. File for streamers. Uh, 
uh, Phil's Coffee in uh, San Francisco. I love Phil's. Get a Phil's Harmonic most of the time. Big, big fan. All right, so this, this puppy is live. It should be live. Yes, my stream timer. Rad. Let's add a readme. Ours written with .NET Core 3. And let's go into our dev, 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 dev blogs. Release. Release. Um, currently consists of a WP app in written with .NET Core three preview. Preview um, contains all logic in a standard library so we can port it over to Mac OS and let's wrap this pup um, bu -bu -bu -bu. okay and then what we want to do also is yes again start this up again we should probably take a photo yeah, I love Phil's. Every time I'm in San Francisco, which is not very often anymore, but back in my Xamarin days, I was there all the time, uh, which is pretty rad. So let's do count down here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Minimize this. On our desktop, team timer, art. Um, Demo.png. Cool. I'm way yeah. up by Phil. Icarus, bliss. thank you for the follow. I do appreciate that. I'll add art. Go. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so we want to create, we need to do copy to clipboard. We want to uh, parse command line arguments. Save using settings. Save. Save user entry with settings plugin. Should work. Uh, what else do we need to do? Oh, port to Mac. <laughs> yeah, probably port to Mac OS. Cameron forms probably. It'll be way easier. Um, set up CI slash D or releases. Put up a uh, GitHub. What else do we want to do? I think that's it. Add an about window. Okay. I think that's it. I think that is it. Tweet this out to the peoples. Just finished my first prototype of a remote timer. Using P 
Preview and VPF. Oop. And then here we're gonna do Cool. All right, everyone, we totally did it. We've now tweeted it out, so you know it's official. It's a thing that's happening. Um, I was gonna put in the .NET blog post in here about .NET Core 3. That's what I wanted to do. Is this blog so slow? It's because I'm logged in, that's why. Microsoft, Microsoft. I need to add a bunch of other files, other things in here, but that's pretty good. So. <laughs> Containers. Link address. Let's go back in here. Let's go into edit. Here. And uh, .NET and VS 2019. All right, that is going to do it. Let's head out of here. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Lots of people over here. I really enjoy uh, building this app. I haven't built a WPF app in a long, long time. I've done a lot of UWP work recently, but I just you know, figured I want this to run everywhere and, and make it work. And I always wanted to use my apps and all these other things and that, that cool design stuff. So anyways, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the, the follows, the bits. We got some new subscribers. I really, really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to trying to do some cool rad stuff. I usually stream on Fridays at two o'clock, uh, which is my go-to. I usually do a lot of Xamarin work and I'll probably be working on this on the weekends here and there where I can. But again, thanks everyone for tuning in. Don't forget to follow, hit that button up there. You'll get notified. You can hit that little reminder button when I go live uh, and uh, appreciate it. Yeah, and I'll get you to get my Mac set up, Harry, to actually do the Mac port. But I think that'll be fun because I've never really done a Mac application at all. So that'll be super duper fun. But yeah, that is going to do it for this stream. Thanks everyone for hanging out. Uh, what we should do though, before we get out of here, let me see uh, Let me see who's streaming since we have a lot of people, anyone that we want to raid. Let's look if there's anyone in our live coders. And also let's look on Twitch for our, um, for our, our area. Let's take a look here. I'm always bad at raiding. I'm always like, I should probably raid and then I never do. And then last time we did raid and then I totally forgot. I messed it all up. I actually messed it up. I was like, oh. Um, let's see. Potatoes doing some stuff. You doing some PowerShell. Um, who else is in? Well, there's 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 always there's this competition happening right now. Um, which is cool. Love Lo Lena is pretty rad as well. She's doing always some cool game dev stuff. I like that. She's super, super duper nice uh, person. Um, PowerShell or Unity is the question. I think she's doing Unity. Yeah, PowerShell or Unity. What do you guys want to rate in the chat? PowerShell or Unity? Uh, yeah, there is. There is. So go into my Hennings. Go down into there and you'll see teams. And you'll see live coders. And that's the the team that it's on so you can actually like give us a, a look basically and there's a bunch of us streaming all the time supporting each other um let's yeah let's send it over to potato because we'll support our live streamers we'll do that what we're gonna do though as always we are going to um play a little outro music for thanks to everyone for coming in hanging out and I'm uh, definitely tearing down my stream with some skip frames. Let's close out of some crazy stuff. Anyways, thanks for hanging out, everyone. Let's go into it and cheers.
right. Insert into people. F name. Hey, thank you for the follow. Hannah Giggums. So sorry. Oh no, party of 37. Thank you so very much. Today, <laughs> we are, um, I'm just exploring something called SQL Notebook, which 